2026 is such a weird year. Students even from IITs are struggling to get placements. We witnessed one of the highest number of layoffs just last year following the massive layoffs in 2020. And if you're someone in school or college right now, I feel so bad for you because the future really seems fucked up. But again, in the middle of every crisis lies great opportunity. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five industries or skills which will have massive demand in the next five years. Some of these will make you a couple of thousands for your pocket money. Some will make you a couple of lakhs to replace your full time job. But a few of them can make you crores if you build them in the right way. The first one is something that I've been speaking about for the past two years now. A lot of people ignored me back then, but a few people who listened to me and started learning it are now making 30 to 40,000 rupees per month by freelancing in their free time. Some of them are making close to a lakh per month by working full time. We are living in a weird time where entry level software engineers are making 3 to 4 lakh rupees per annum, but entry level video editors are making 6 to 8 lakh rupees per annum. Video editors are in huge demand. Creators are hiring them, brands and companies are hiring them, founders, marketing agencies, I mean, everyone's hiring video editors. And the best part, it literally just takes three to four months to learn how to edit videos. And if you're already inclined towards the creative fields, you definitely love this. You can also join my Not Just a Video Editing cohort, where we have trained over 7,000 video editors in just last two years. The new batch is starting soon, and the link is in the description. Now, the second one is something which I spoke about during my TED talk back in 2023. It's a story about one of my friends who failed in multiple courses back at IIT Kharagpur but is now making over a crore per annum. And you know what is he doing right now? He's into ethical hacking. See, I've tried my best to invite him to our podcast on this channel, but he's so shy that he never wants to face a camera. The careers in cybersecurity are going to be in massive demand in the next five years. Like even a million dollar company can collapse overnight if the security systems are weak. But just remember, don't just do this for the money. This is a career which will require continuous learning. And if you're not genuinely passionate about it, you'll burn out very, very soon. So do your research well before you get into this. Said I'm taking big shots, just stop, when I'm driven, no pit stops. <sighs> the third one is something which is unexpected, but is at all time peak right now. Companies like Microsoft are ready to pay 2.5 crores for this role. And the number of job postings on LinkedIn for similar kind of roles just doubled in the last one year. I'm talking about storytelling, and content creation. Some people might be like, oh, content creation is not for everyone. Content is getting saturated. You guys have no idea how big this opportunity is. Firstly, you can build your personal brand and sell your own products or services. Or if you're passionate about tech, food, or cars, you can build a theme page around it and start collaborating with the brands in the similar space. Or you can just learn how to shoot and edit good videos and get into UGC content creation for brands. I personally know a lot of brands which are ready to pay five to 10,000 rupees for one short form reel that you make. But if you don't want to record yourself and show your face, you can also just learn how to plan content, do the research and get into brand teams of startups. There are full-fledged jobs in this space right now. Some of the smartest people that I know first started with creating their own content, grew their pages to 50 to 60,000 followers and then started approaching founders from the US to help them build their personal brands. They charge anywhere from $1,500 to $5,000 to grow one Instagram page. I mean, that's a lot of money. So in short, if you know how to create good content, there are thousands of ways that you can monetize it. And if you're really passionate about this field, here are the basic skills that you'll need. Take a screenshot of this. Now, before we go to the next skill, here's something very important. Just knowing the list of the best skills is not enough anymore. Because if you don't take action after knowing the list, nothing's gonna change. So don't just watch this video, take notes. Make a roadmap for the skill that you wanna try learning and then start tracking it on a daily basis. Like what's the roadmap to learn? How much did you finish? What are the different resources? You need to track all these things. And this platform that I'm using here, it's called Udo. And the project tab can help you track your entire progress through different dashboards. Like the roadmap, the progress, the resources and even the projects that you're building. And finally, tracking doesn't look boring because you can change the view to Kanban, which shows all the tasks as sticky notes under different stages. Can gives you bird's eye view with task dependencies or even a simple list view to do batch changes. You can also add your friends or colleagues to the same project and do it together. See, Udo project lets you manage multiple projects all at one place. And guess what? The first step is completely free for a lifetime for unlimited users. I'll leave the link in the description. I think you should definitely check it out. Now let's move to the next skill. How many of you are really passionate about coding? Because there's like a lot of bad news around software engineering these days and it's kind of heartbreaking to have spent two years, three years, four years in coding and then realizing that the job market is kind of fucked up. But as I said in the beginning of this video, in the middle of every crisis, lies great opportunity. And this is kind of true for software guys as well, because if you're ready to spend two to three years into fields like AIML, 
then there's huge opportunity. But again, it's more of a patience game for you right now. All the best. Now, before I finally talk about the best skills that I am planning to learn this year, here's the last domain that I am very bullish about. The fifth one is for people who are genuinely passionate about storytelling, but would never want to record themselves in front of a camera. I should have clubbed this in the third point itself, but the skill set here is completely different. I'm talking about storytelling using AI. Did you know that brands are slowly shifting away from spending huge marketing budgets on one minute digital ads? Even brands like McDonald's recently posted ads which are completely AI generated. Some people have hated it, some were like, let's boycott McDonald's. But deep down, Everyone knows that this is the future. 20% of the content which was posted on YouTube in 2025 was AI generated slop. And if you can use tools like Hicksfield, VO3, HN, 11 Labs and create ads and tell amazing stories, you can charge lakhs of rupees for every video that you make. A lot of my friends are currently doing this. And this is something that even I am trying to push in the agency that I'm running. In fact, we just lost a 30 lakh deal because someone else was able to make better AI video ads. I mean like, Now finally, this is the list of the things that I want to personally learn this year. Number one, better communication. I think I'm decent, but I can be much better. So this year, I'll focus much more on my communication skills. Number two, I want to be a better storyteller because it helps me in my content, in my business, in my sales calls, in a lot of places. I also want to learn using more AI tools to make crazy videos, build automations, websites, web apps, so much more. Number four, I want to learn how to deep work. I think I'm decent at it, but again, I can be much better. Last but not the least, I want to learn how to have fun while working. Because somewhere along the way, I think I forgot how to enjoy things. I don't feel too much about anything that I do these days. Last year, I've worked a lot. This year, I'll probably work even more. But this time, I don't just want results. I also want to have fun in the process. I mean, if you can understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, here it is. Here are the skills that I am very bullish about this year. A few of these, I'm personally going to focus myself. But as I said, just knowing the list of the best skills will not make any difference. So make sure that you actually pick something and start learning it as soon as possible. Go to the comments below and write it down clearly. What are the list of the things that you are planning to learn this year? I told you my list, but what's yours? Don't mind if I stay high, gotta get back on the road, my dog.